I'm so excited for this. This is like a dream. <laughs> What's this guy yelling? These are just questions I'll ask no, in I court, know. right? I know. Good morning, good morning, you guys. We have a beautiful day ahead of us. We are going to be taking the Aperta over to August Luxury Motor Cars to get a new set of rear tires. I completely destroyed them the other day. Check these out. The x comp tires, wow, well, they're seeing the last of their tread. I was on a surface that was the equivalent to like, I don't know, a cheese grater. I noticed everybody was complaining in the comments that I drive the Aperta with a white helmet. This apparently triggers the internet like no other thing I've ever put on the internet. We've been wanting to get back into this whole JDM space for a while. What's this hood worth, Damon? $16,000. If I wear this helmet with this car, everybody's freaking out. So I went to the old helmet collection and I pulled out the old Arai, that's right, Jolly Rogers helmet from one of my motorcycles back in the day. Today we will be rocking this and I have a flight to catch and I'm late. I don't know if I'm gonna make it, so we need to hurry. And uh, luggage won't fit in the front today. Where luggage can go as a passenger. You get some heat in this engine. August, now I need to get billionaire Mike Hall to give me a ride down to the airport. I have five minutes to board my plane. August, look at all these beautiful cars. Hey, that's new. That's a son of a need right there. Airport Uber? Airport Uber? Yeah. I, dude, I, I have five minutes to board my plane. Really? Fun. Yeah. Uh, I left the key at the front desk with the Aperta. Okay. Wifey's on her way with the tires. You got five minutes, so you have security. Damn, that is a crazy car though, isn't it? You gonna drive it long oh, Yeah. yeah. Sure. <laughs> I'll finish the tires off for you. You should. Right here. Full yeah. signature. Thank you, dude. Have hey, fun buddy. getting your big dot today. I will. We'll show it in the next vlog. Okay, see you, buddy. Later. Here he comes, my boy Dave. I got a little gift for him too. If you haven't noticed, we're rocking this brand new JDM Space merch. Hey! I got a surprise for you. This is a new JDM Space merch, bro. I love that. Thanks, so I haven't dude. said anything about what we're doing today yet. Don't I'm just him? kind of, nah, it's gonna be a surprise. By the time this video comes out, it's already been Dave's birthday. So you guys need to wish Dave a happy birthday in the comments. Dave, I can't believe you're older than me. <laughs> 45. Well, comment below, how old am I actually? How old do you think Dave is? Yeah. Oh God, I want to ask. <laughs> Here, can you take this? I forgot we're in a Gyarado. This one fits perfectly. Cut the wheels off. That one fits perfectly. Yeah. SR Auto Group. Bam, bam, bam. Uncle Ray Ray. Hey. 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 Car's gonna go in. A little service action. Yep. The guy who Raymond uses to work on this car, who serviced this car. He, has he worked on it its whole life it's yeah, been this here? Whole, this car whole life. Brand, so he knows this car. Now. He was a master tech, he was the shop foreman, and now he has his own place. Does so. he like mods or no? Absolutely not. <laughs> <laughs> Fired it up and he shook his head and because <laughs> he's a purist, right? Yeah, he's absolutely a purist. Is this thing warm at all? Give it a minute. Give it a minute. I'm We're just... gonna go see Andrew at Fast Track. Oh yeah, I'm, I'm going there too. I'll see you there. By the way, guess what? Tomorrow is his birthday. Guess how old Dave is. That's the game today. Guess how old? Can you guess? He is 37. No, nope. nope. go higher. 41. Higher. He's older than me. I'm 59. 49. There you go. Dave is 59. Comment below, how old am I? Yes, the Carrera GT is the dream car for many of us. But this car is scary. No paddle shifters, no flappy bullshit. This car means business and no f***ing around. That requires you to have some balls to drive this car, which brings me to thank today's sponsor, Manscaped, the perfect package. Guys, April is Testicular Cancer Awareness Month, and Manscaped has teamed up with Testicular Cancer Society. Dave, hit me with the merch. Ooh. Bam! One man every hour, every day is diagnosed with testicular cancer. We also have a very strong connection to probably someone who's had cancer. For me personally, my mom is a cancer survivor. Let's look at the perfect package kit right here in the CGT. Is it weird it fits perfectly in here? I think so too. Let's start with the main attraction, the Lawnmower 3.0 with skin safe technology. It won't nick you, it won't cut you, has a perfect job trimming your balls 
and it doesn't stop there. Crop Preserver Ball Deodorant and the Crop Reviver Ball Toner. You also get two free gifts, the epic Manscaped Boxer Briefs, as well as the Shed Travel Bag. Manscaped, in addition to providing the right tools and solutions for safe and easy manscaping, has partnered with the Testicular Cancer Society to spread awareness for men's health and early cancer detection. Together, TCS and Manscaped are committed to raising awareness for the most common form of cancer in men aged 15 to 35, and giving support for fighters, survivors, and families impacted by testicular cancer. You can perform simple routine self-checks at home while enjoying Manscaped products you use every day, like their Crop Preserver Ball Deodorant, their Crop Mop Ball Wipes, and the Skin Safe Lawnmower 3.0 Body Trimmer. For more information on how to check yourself for testicular cancer, visit manscaped.com slash TCS. All right, guys, you know we got your back, and we also have your balls. Save 20% off all this good stuff here, plus free shipping by going to manscaped.com slash DDE, and together, we save balls. I can't wait to go and see the new 720 GTR update. Have you seen it recently? Uh, oh, <laughs> look at the discs on this bat. Those are super cool. Look at that. Oh, I like that. That's cool. What if we put like discs on the CGT? Oh, yeah. Too far? No. That'd really piss off the purists. What kind of design can we do for the disc? Or do we just put a disc over this? We got the guys at Salter Arrow recreate them for us. That'd be cool. Maybe? By the way, I got wheels coming for the CGT. Did you? I didn't even tell you. I got some wheels. Wheels are really hard to find. These aren't exact wheel I wanted. They're coming from Dubai. It's the only place I could find CGT wheels. Pre-made, monoblock, completely different design than this. I don't want to give too much away. They are black. They don't need to stay black. Could refinish them. Should I do like a racing OG gold? Maybe a champagne? kind of color, GT2 RS looking wheels. Raymond's in the lightning, let's go catch up to him. We're going to Fast Track Auto Body to give you guys an uppercut of an update on the 720. It's in the paint booth, the whole car. Nice truck, bro. I like that thing. 79.9. 79.9. Ray, some things aren't for sale. You like are. The squadron. <laughs> <laughs> Solid drive, like, that's a little hit it. <laughs> I should have said that. Yeah, that, that, that. <laughs> Set that alarm off in that car. Setting it off. <laughs> oh, we left a huge strip back. No, we didn't. Nothing to see here. Ah, uh, I smell that. Yeah. Victory. Back at Fast Track Auto. Yeah. <laughs> Grow up. Grow up. Grow up. Never. Children. You think Raymond walks? Raymond does not walk. Well, apparently I don't drive, Damon. I will not deny this. Purple wheelie. Let's go. Run your business. I want to see this. My nine bots. What is the launch capabilities of this? <laughs> I'm going back to work. Okay. Hey, you're all clear. Send it. <laughs> Looks like the battery might be dead. <laughs> oh, there you go. There you go. Bye, Raymond. That's what we call eccentric, kids. <laughs> ah, another Porsche Dave is driven. What'd you do this time, Dave? What did you do this time? I backed into a uh, garage and the door wasn't open all the way. It's all good. Yeah. Missing a few pieces there. Oh, what do we got here? We got lots and lots of gorgeous looking fluorescent body panels. Oh yes. So they've painted everything they need to paint pink, pink. And this is what it looks like, you guys. This is what it looks like when they put the first coats down. It's super pink. And it's still pink in person, but on camera, as they put down the seven to eight coats, it looks more red on camera, but I promise you it's not. Here is a little sneak peek. The hood here. Man, this thing is just in a bazillion pieces as expected. The car's actually in the booth. We're going to go check on that in a second. Rear bumper, which now has the center exit exhaust locations. Man, this is cool. Now, until we wait for Andrew to come in here. Did you see what else is already getting started? Oh, is this a Did you see something? What's right through here? Who's ready for the 488? This is what I wanted to show you guys. We have two major builds going simultaneously here at Fast track auto body who's ready for the wide body tire slayer revival now so car is gonna get torn apart and dave and i will be back is we want to actually help cut this thing up cut these fenders they get cut quite high they come right out something to this effect so you're gonna trim this much of the fender off the rear gets chopped quite a bit it comes up quite high like that now the scary part is that in order to accommodate the wide wheels they do have to modify the firewall a little bit did you know that no they do so on my 458 they take a hammer it's a lot of fun to watch and they literally beat the living shit 
out of the Ferrari. Make room for the wider wheels and tires. Wide body is no joke. It's no joke. There's no going There's back. No going back from this body kit because the wheels end up being so much wider out. In order to keep the stock turning radius and not hit anything, that's what you got to do. I'm going to make sure that we do something where we come, we cut the car, we do the whole layout of the body kit, we start putting it up against the fender so you can see how wide the car is going to be in reality. We also got to take this plate off because this now belongs to the CGT. We move this and the insurance to that car. A new name, actually. Aww. Should we get Tire Slayer? I want to hear from the audience below ideas for the personalized plate. Seven digits allowed. Seven characters only, seven right? Seven characters. So seven characters for this car. What do we get? What kind of a cool bad name should the new version of the Tire Slayer get? Let us know in the comments. I'm pumped. need to finish painting half the car. <laughs> what happened here? I don't know, what'd you do? Hey, this looks actually pretty good. You should do this kind of fade out. It actually oh. does look kind of crazy, doesn't it? I Although think, I, I, think, think uh, I think I'll stick with the original idea, Andrew. <laughs> Let's go see what the rest of the car looks like. I'm so excited for this. This is like a dream. Oh snap. Oh yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. That is like that's crazy, man. This is so sick. We're curious to see what this looks like out in the sun. It's good to go. Yeah, we we'll just take that outside and have a Perfect. Look. Here, catch. <laughs> Dave was not impressed. Let's see what this looks like out in the sun. Because in here, it looks amazing. I bet you in the sun, it just pops even more. Every coat of clear they put down, it like makes the color more rich, a little darker. This is a panel that has almost all the clear on it. Whoa, even out here already? Yeah, it glows. Dude, it glows. Oh. This is amazing. This is exactly oh, what I wanted, dude, Andrew. Take it out and just... Oh, yeah. You need sunglasses. Can you hold up? Oh, hell yeah. That's it so good. my eyes. My face glowing? Yes. <laughs> oh, that looks so crap. sick, bro. Your face, look at Dave's face. Your face is glowing, I'm not dude. exaggerating for you guys. Yeah. This is bright as... There you go. Now your face is really glowing. Dude, this is... You guys nailed it, man. Thanks, Andrew. <laughs> he just leaves. He just walked away. <laughs> He's like, I got work to do. What do you think? Yeah, it looks really good. Killer, right? It's actually like, it's hard to look straight at. It's amazing. Yeah, that is bright. It's killer, bro. All right. Go do that car real quick. Let's paint this whole car that yeah. color. Can we repaint this car? Like oh. if I picked a really rare, you know what they never made a CGT in? Oh, no. They never made one in signal green. Like yeah. this color green. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's like right. this. That's right. That's right. What if I painted this whole car in signal oh. green? And, and green would go good with the terracotta color. Yes. And black wheels. Nice. I think we should repaint this car. Okay, let's not get There's 1,200 of these. This thing isn't even rare. It's really not that rare. I was thinking, what if rare. we repainted it in a rare, actual Porsche PTS color? And hell, that'd be super sick. We just saw a GT3 at August yeah, in really Signal good. Green. It looked really good. Let me know in the comments below, guys. I'm thinking about stripping this down and repainting the whole car Signal Green, making it a true one-of-one one daily driven exotic supercar. Let me know. I'm dead serious, too. If not that color, name another color that we could do that has never been done on a Porsche. So look at this. This is all carbon. So the only thing you're painting are the actual body panels. This wouldn't be the hardest car to paint. Let's get it done, Andrew. Let's just get it done. What do you think? Now, would we do signal green, keep the wheels silver and the mesh silver, or do black wheels and paint the mesh black? Oh yeah. yeah. I'm dead serious about changing the color of this car and not just yeah. out and doing a wrap. I think it would be cool to make this thing truly a one of one daily driven exotics monster. This again is another car I have no intentions of ever selling. Oh, speaking of Porsches. Oh dude, that was amazing. Calvin's car is nice. Beautiful. You gotta go see that guy in his car one day. Like I need to be able to, you gotta do an intro. Oh just call him and tell him come back. <laughs> what? That is so insane. Wow. I love this car. Look at the side windows. Damn. Dude, your car is insane. I love, what color is this? It's called Geyser Gray. Geyser, Geyser Gray. gray. Yeah. This car is absolutely bonkers. Does it say RWB inside the headlight? Is that something they do now to all of them or? No, no, the retrofit source did, did that for us. Really? 
Yeah. I love little touches like that. Yeah. And the fact that you got orange in your badge. Oh. Wow. Nakai Scribble. I think this is my favorite one I've ever seen. I like the ones with the big crazy wing. When you have the big crazy wing, your eyes go to the back. Where this, this car just looks so effing mean. Holy sh**. Got the classic seats. Wow. Yeah, if you ever sell this, we're gonna fight for it. So <laughs> I'll, I'll be buying it. I love this. Did you have to have these made? They make them in LA, I think. Really? Yeah. So this gives you the look. This is more the look. But you, and it's still lightweight because it's not, it's, it's not glass. Exactly. So it's a lightweight window. This gives you the look of having like the vents, but Vancouver doesn't come inside your car. Exactly. <laughs> Congrats, man. What a build. Look at this. Look how wide yeah, this car big. is from right here. Well, if you didn't know, number one Porsche ambassador's on the internet right here. So <laughs> what was the color of that paint again? <laughs> Gorgeous, man, what a beauty. Now you got Andrew tugging at your car. <laughs> hey? Should we do one of these? Yeah, dude, it's pretty cool. Pretty R fun experience. RWB build? Experience that for the first time? Go Ray Ray for a car, and then- Uncle Ask Ray Uncle Ray Ray. Ray, Ray. <laughs> <laughs> we gotta get a sticker that says Uncle Ray Ray. What were we calling him? Second rate auto? Yeah. SR auto? Second rate. We could call him Salty something, because he's always he's oh, always in a bad mood. Salty Raymond auto. That's pretty good, SR, Salty Raymond. What motor's in this? It's the, the, the original 3.6. Oh yeah, 3.6. It's clean in here. Yeah. Someone was asking me the other day what it sounds like without hearing it, and to describe it in words is impossible. Old F1 car. Back when F1 cars were the V10 straight pipe, just race engines, that's what it sounds like. It's got that high pitch, but it's got that kind of buzzy funness to it. Like, there's no other engine, as far as I know, that sounds like this. No. <laughs> this car feels way up faster than 600 horsepower. Way faster. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Cuts through your eardrums, actually painful to be behind. Oh, there's uh, Raymond's Porsche that I broke last time. I got it fixed, eh? You old janky son of a bitch. We're back. <laughs> yeah, we're back. Just in case they didn't know. <laughs> What's this guy yelling? Police officer came in behind me when we came in here. Police officer right here behind me. He said, he said the Lamborghini. At first he yelled Range Rover. I don't even know. But it must be noise. It wasn't going that fast. Oh, so I pulled you over for speeding. Hey, was YouTube it? channel? I wasn't speeding. You were. How fast? Back on Bridgeport, you're going about 70. No, I yeah. looked, I was doing 50. Because I was going 60 and you were getting away from me. So do you have it on radar or laser? Pacing. You weren't behind me. I was. Really? Yep. You have that on camera, on the dash cam? No dash cam. No dash cam? Nope. So it's just your word against mine? Yep. All right. Yep. Do you have your driver's license and your insurance, sir? I do. Excellent. Do you have a YouTube channel? I do. Excellent, what's it called? Daily Driven Exotics. Daily Driven Exotics. How many subscribers? Uh, just shy of three million. Three million, yeah. okay. I'm not gonna lie, I feel like I've heard it before. Yeah, right on. <laughs> do you guys go to court a lot for pacing? Do I go to court a lot for pacing? Yeah, like when people like, like. Well, I'm not gonna give you, it. I, won't, I won't give you the reason as to why people dispute it. No, I know but why people, people do, I know how, I know why, but mm -hmm. have you been to court for that before? I have. And do you, do you feel like when you give an explanation of pacing someone behind them, like like you have to be behind the person? I was behind you. You weren't right behind me. I was looking in my rearview mirror. You weren't behind me at all. I was in the number one lane. You were in the number two lane. And how many cars back? Uh, about two. So you were behind another car behind me. I wasn't behind you. Right. Directly. So you're in an opposite lane behind a car. No, 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 you were in the number two. So the, you were in the curb lane. Uh-huh. I was in the closer lane to the double yellow. Right, correct. Yep. And then you were behind a car that was behind, obviously, the Gallardo. Because the Gallardo was in that lane. Mm -hmm. And then I see you driving away from me while I'm going 60. Well, I mean, if you, you were you were looking down doing 60? Yep. So you were looking down, but you weren't looking up at me. Or you were looking down and looking at me at the same time. Right, um, these are just questions I'll ask no, in I court, know. right? I know, yeah. I know. But did I say I was going to give you a ticket? No, you didn't, but I like to ask questions. That's fair. Which isn't illegal. No, no, no. That's fair. And you seem like a cool guy, I can tell already. 
because you were smiling when you asked me about YouTube. So there you go. I'm not saying I'm gonna get it. No, ticket. I know, I know. I actually think I shouldn't, because you <laughs> seem like a cool guy. So I'm gonna have my own own reasons for whether I do give you I get or it. don't give you a ticket. Hundred percent. Yeah, you're but, just doing uh, your job. I get it. Yeah. Whether I get it. a ticket or not get a ticket, <laughs> I think you're being a cool cop. Okay. Yeah. Well, thank you. Yeah, yeah. Uh, just your full name and date of birth. Uh, Damon Fryer. Okay. January 30th, 1979. And is this your vehicle? It's my corporation's vehicle. Corporation. Okay. So leased vehicle. Okay. That yeah. makes sense. Yeah. Okay. It's for business use. Fair enough. Okay. Is that does that fall under YouTube as well? Hundred percent. Good How are you? Good. How are you with him, I guess? Maybe. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> maybe. <laughs> maybe. Uh, I got your driver's license mixed up here. Uh, That's all right. David was you, right? David's this oh, one. David him. And okay, I'm Damon. Damon. Or you could just call us Double D's, whichever you prefer. <laughs> Love it. It's a, just a funny joke. Uh, no ticket. Daily. Yeah. Driven. Exotics. exotics. Look at that number one on the search list. Thank you. <laughs> We must, cool, wow. we, we rank well. 2.85. Yeah. Very cool, very cool. We do awesome. Facebook and Instagram and everything. Yeah. We'll keep it chill. Yeah, for sure, okay. Well, just reason being, obviously, we have a lot of speeders in the city, right? Yep. So we just want to make sure everyone's doing okay. Well, hey, it was great to meet you. No worries, thanks Thank guys. you for Take the warning. Care. Have a good day. See ya. He was super cool. Great guy. And don't mind me for asking questions like that. I, I know it can come off sometimes like I'm kind of being a bit of a dick. I'm not trying to be a dick. I'm asking calm, assertive questions about how exactly he's you know, saying I was speeding. And you're allowed to do that. Sometimes when you guys, the audience, see something like that go down, you're like, why is Damon being such a dick? I'm not trying to be a dick. I'm genuinely just curious and asking him questions. And I'm also trying to deter him from writing the ticket in the first place. Because if I don't have to go to court, then I'd rather do that than have to go and spend and two hours in a courtroom. Yeah, so and lawyer fees and all that. That's right. Now I go by myself, be my own attorney. <laughs> <laughs> Smash the subscribe button, you guys. Join the DDE fam. We have plenty more where that came from. We'll see you guys in the next video. And don't forget, go click the links in the description below and pick up your Manscaped Perfect Package Kit. We'll see you in the next video. Peace. <laughs>